Good morning, everybody. It's about quarter till seven in the morning. Super dense fog this morning. It's so dense that there's water droplets dropping down, kind of like it's raining, but it's not raining. It's just dense fog. Uh, stayed nice and dry last night. No condensation in the tent. <laughs> it's about 60 degrees out. It's February. <laughs> Welcome to Florida. unfamiliar with the trails and had to double check with my GPS numerous times to make sure I was on the right track. to throw my afternoon pick me up together got a it's like a protein and vegetable shake it's like protein and kale or something like that and instant coffee mix those two together it's like a, the shake is like a chocolate flavor and instant coffee is always good so mix those together and I'll be good for the next couple of hours probably I had a like half a bag of Fritos as well Hmm. Maybe it goes this way. I think it does. <laughs> Whatever trail this is, I would skip it next time. <laughs> Cause it's, I mean, some of it's rideable, but I mean, it's definitely rideable if you're not on a packed bike, but some of the steep, super steep Rudy climbs on a loaded bike. <laughs> I'm hiking them with the bike. Look a little daunting. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we won't get any thunderstorms. <laughs> Wouldn't mind a little rain. It's kind of hot out, but eh, thunderstorm not so much. So I got into camp pretty early today around four o'clock which I was super happy about because you know it's not about the miles it's about relaxing in camp <laughs> don't let anyone tell you differently <laughs> anyways uh, it was a good day uh, man some of the terrain today uh, I think if I do this again I'd probably skip um, 
uh, the trails like Coalition, Moonshine, White Lightning, those are like uh, double black diamond trails. <laughs> uh, normally I would do them, you know, like on my full suspension or even my hardtail, but uh, with the loaded bike it was really rough. Uh, the downhills were kind of fun, but um, the climbs are like, no joke, like 45 to 60 percent uh, short but super steep inclines which for those ones I had to get off my bike and push my bike up the hills because I didn't want to fall over on it with my fully loaded bike. So today I've got instant rice with craisins in it and a yellowfin tuna packet with extra virgin olive oil. Uh, having the olive oil in it really gives it some extra flavor and definitely some extra calories, about double the calories of a regular tuna packet, so. <laughs> if I could open it. Even if I'm not expecting critters, I generally will do a food hang anyways. So pro tip for bikepacking in Florida, don't use squirt chain lube. <laughs> so even though you give it all night to dry, you put it on at like 5 or 6 in the evening the night before, thinking, ah, it's going to have all night to dry. Well. In Florida, it's so humid that it doesn't actually dry, and it's a wax chain lube, so now it's just kind of like a wet, sticky, disgusting mess, so I might just wipe all of that chain lube off and try riding the 60 miles today without chain lube, but anyways, lesson learned, I will not be using that chain lube while bikepacking again. side trail back to the Tucker Hill trailhead just to fill up on some water before I hit this dirt road. I doubled back uh, from the Tucker Hill trailhead to hit up this dirt road behind me. <laughs> I say dirt road but it looks like it's sand so I have a feeling this is gonna test my quads and maybe my patience too. But anyways I'm gonna take this dirt road back to the Good Neighbor Trail which is that paved trail that got me to Kroom in the first place and take that into Brooksville and you know follow that all the way back to the Sun Coast and back to Starkey and back to my house so single track is done for the day <laughs> Rough start there. <laughs> Whew. So what happens if ah, if a truck comes down this road? I have no idea. Because I'm kind of stuck in a gutter here. <laughs> Woohoo! I see that paved bike path. Making it out of the sand hole.
Good neighbor trail, here we go. That road actually wasn't too bad. I mean, it was definitely sandy, a sand pit, but I just stick it in, stuck it in my greeny gear and pedaled away and made it through. to the busy streets of Brooksville until I make my way to the Sun Coast anyways. Somehow I missed my turn on 50. I didn't think there were any turns but anyways I wasn't paying enough attention I guess and uh, I ended up on 41 which was like way out of the way uh, because I kept going and didn't look at my map. <laughs> Anyways, I had to take a side road, 572, to get back to the Suncoast Trail. Uh, that road does not have a bike lane. <laughs> Anyways, I'm alive and I'm back on the Suncoast, so I'm headed towards Starkey. the Starkey Park trails, the Starkey Park paved trails. Uh, I don't think I have enough time to do the single track trail, that and I'm totally beat. <laughs> so I'm just gonna ride, uh, this is about six or six and a half miles to the exit slash entrance of Starkey Park. So I'm gonna ride this back uh, and then I can't wait to get home and eat. I want, let's see, I want a pizza. A Beyond Burger with cheese, some french fries, pretty much anything you put in front of my face. <laughs> and just like that, my little adventure was over. I made my way home as the sun was setting, thinking about the next big adventure. Oh yeah, and food. <laughs> 